Hi everyone, I have the Total Package here from Laura Geller. It's a six piece makeup collection. I've just finished the look, which is a little bit more of a sort of polished daytime look. And it is one of those collections that's really versatile, so you could use this to create more of a smoky evening wear look if you wanted to. But it's probably one of the best kits that you could get to try this famous baked cream formula. So we have the Balance and Brighten foundation that is probably the easiest foundation that you'll ever use. It's a cream, in fact, six different creams that have just been baked for a really long time until they're set so that you can brush it onto the skin. You don't really need to labor too much over your choice of shade because it self adjusts. I'm wearing the medium. Um, and you don't really need to kind of worry too much about blending either because it does do a lot of the blending for you. We then have the baked cream blush which again is kind of foolproof because it's a baked cream. It doesn't have any of those little fillers and binders that sit on top of the skin and look really textured and powdery. French Vanilla. This is a highlighter that I think everybody should have in their makeup kit no matter what their skin tone. It's very fresh looking, very hydrated looking. It lifts the look of the bone structure. It makes the skin look really, really glowy, um, but without looking too metallic or, or tinny or glittery. And then we have the Sunset Glow. Now this is a new shade, which has a bit of gold in some lights. It's got lavender, a bit of pink in other lights. It's really pretty. It's a very kind of girly feminine shade. If you use it wet, it becomes really metallic. And then we have the Smoky Coal. This is the Twilight Coal. It's a lavender smoky shade. This is something that you can use to create a really dramatic smoky eye. You can team it with other eyeshadows as well for an evening look. Um, or you can use it just in the lash line to get that kind of subtle version of a, of a smoky eye. Rose Tourmaline Color Luster Lip Gloss. These are a beautiful texture. It feels like you're wearing lip balm, but you get all that high shine. I'm starting off with Balance and Brighten Foundation. So all these different swirls, they're there to color correct. And because they're actually a cream that's being baked, you get this much more kind of natural result. You don't really sort of have to worry about blending it too perfectly. It's almost self-blending. So you're just gonna use um, a powder brush that you have. I'm using a Kabuki brush, but you can use you could even use a foundation brush if you wanted to. But as we're brushing it on, you're kind of breaking up all these different cream pigments so that they're color correcting. So you've got those little yellow threads in there, which are great for counteracting redness. You've got a lot of peachy tones too. So when you take it up under the eyes, it really gets rid of darkness, that kind of purple blue hue. Pink Buttercream Blush, again, doesn't have those fillers and binders. The cream has been really slow baked, so that when you brush it onto the skin, you do get, get that real skin effect. This is really clever, the color, because you can get this no makeup makeup effect on porcelain skin and on really rich kind of cocoa skin as well. So if you build it up to be stronger, you will just look like you have a stronger blush rather than, than more texture on the skin. Um, I like to take it just into the socket line with a big brush. Simple version of a smoky eye um, and really, really easy to do. But if you wanted to color in the whole socket and then smudge it in like an eyeshadow, you will get this completely long wear, budge proof, intense smoky eye. So I'm taking it underneath the eye, across the top of the lashes, and I'm just tilting it up and closing my eye so I can get the waterline too. I'm just going to smudge over the top. You can use your fingertip, brush. French Vanilla has a little bit of a cult following because it's a low glow highlighter. So if you want something that is a little bit more fresh, hydrated looking, rather than that real metallic shine on the cheekbones, this is a good one to have. It kind of bounces light away from fine lines and wrinkles, and it brightens. So if you're doing something like this area up here around the eyebrow, that's going to really brighten up the whole face because that's where we can tend to get a little bit darker if we're tired. Of course, the top of the cheekbones, under the eyes to brighten. This is the new highlighter in Sunset Glow. Gold in some lights, lavender, pinky in other lights. It's quite sort of ethereal, really pretty, quite feminine, but really soft. So 
if you use it wet, it can become much more intense. But for me, I like to just use the inner corner of the eye. Just to pop that inner V to brighten up the whole eye area. A little bit on the centre of the lid. It's really good if you have more hooded eyes. Onto lips. This is Rose Tourmaline. It's I really love Laura Geller lip glosses because they have candy oil in them. So they're very soft. They're never ever sticky. You've got little microfine crystals in here. So you, it's a soft rosy pink, but it's little, got little rose gold crystals in there, but you don't feel them. I also really like this one over the top of other lip colors. A little bit of mascara. So this is a really quick, simple look. If you wanted to wear this during the day, and then to go out in the evening. You could always just add a little bit more of the coal or even a little bit of black eyeliner into the waterline. And um, that's it. That's makeup staying on, staying put all day and looking really natural on the skin.